okay hi virgo welcome back to my channel guys if you're new here welcome and if you are returning thank you so much for supporting the channel so i'm going to go ahead and get a general message from our virgos that are dealing with another earth sign now i'm not actually going to break down the signs in this one at the beginning of the month i don't really do that i kind of just keep them all as one so like i said it's general take the parts that resonate for you and leave the rest anybody interested in a personal reading my information is always down below okay all right, so let's jump into this. This is for my Virgos dealing with another Virgo, Taurus, or a Capricorn. All right, Spirit. Give me one card from the Moonology for this situation. Oh, what is that trying to fall out? Prosperity lies ahead and show the world the real you. Okay. almost feels like the energy of somebody being authentic or true or real to themselves or even to other people you know it almost feels like it's going to bring them some kind of rewards all right give me one card for my virgos dealing with okay well thank you <laughs> all right i don't take these in the reverse but it could be telling me something. There may be someone here who was in their feelings, maybe feeling a little bit down about a situation, right? Or it could all it could also be telling me with it coming in the reverse that this is somebody who's putting some some sort of emotions behind them now. Emotions are running high, super moon. From a Virgo's where this may be a romantic situation. Can I get a card? Thank you, Spirit. Emotions are running high. Now, I am also hearing that someone here could want forgiveness for something. It's almost this energy of somebody has, I don't know, kind of want to say maybe they have learned their lesson. Well, let's see what comes out in the cards. All right, give me a card for my Virgos dealing with another earth sign. Thank you, Spirit. Show me. The sign of Virgo. It is safe for you to love. Wanted to turn over there. All right, but that's the one that we got. This is the one. Ooh, okay. Oh. So you have codependency. It says addictions are affecting your romantic life. All right, and one from the Kipper. Thank you, Spirit. Oh, we have thief and false person as a part of the deck here. Ay, ay, ay. Mm. So some of you have a thief energy around you, or did. Somebody who was being false. For some of you, this could even be somebody who may be, you know, it, it, this kind of scenario that I'm getting in my head and it, and it could just be a, um, an example, okay? It's almost like you have somebody, maybe say a friend or a family member or even a, 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 a romantic partner or somebody you, you're involved with, right? And they'd be like, oh, you know, damn, um, um, let me this for whatever, right? Oh, I need to do this or I need to do that or even if you had... I'm just using it as an example. Even if you have kids together, you know, I need to buy the kids, blah, blah, blah. But you give the person this money and then you find out later you've been helping this person all this time and they wasn't actually using the money for what you said, right? Just an example. Give me a card. My Virgo's dealing with another earth sign. Thank you, Spirit. What is the energy here? Thank you. Thoughts. Number 16 could be significant. 16 boils down to a 7. Some of you may have your guards up towards someone. 7 of 1. 7 of 1 also talks about protection. But it looks like somebody is on someone's mind. Somebody here could be relocating. 
with a change card. We also have community. So let's see what we get. Emotions are running high. Why is it here? Why is emotions running high in spirit? Give me three cards. Thank you. All right, so somebody here, you have the Page of Swords and the High Priest is turning over here. Somebody here could have some kind of a platform. Um, someone here may have found out some kind of information online here, right, with the Page of Swords here. Again, this energy is a page, right? There could have been something that was told or that was found out maybe about a child. What is the High Priest, this energy? But it almost feels, wow, another page, page of pentacles. So for some of you, this definitely could have something to do with children. Again, the page of coins to me is almost, um, I don't know why I'm hearing a handout. But the page of coins could be like something new. What? what show me more. With the High Priestess here. Thank you, Spirit. Yeah. Whoa. Okay. Um, you have the Five of Wands, which talks about conflict. It talks about drama, chaos, too many people involved. This is a lot of arguments here. I don't know if this is arguments over children or um, over finances here. Or like I said, with the Page of Swords over some kind of information that came out here. Now, the Page of Cups. This talks about somebody wanting to offer some kind of an apology here. I'm just a little bit, you know, concerned with all the pages. You know, it's, it's very immature um, energy if these ain't children. Give me one more on this situation here. Distant horizon in the reverse. It's almost... What's the distant horizon in the reverse? Wealthy man and message of concern. It's almost like if a situation was supposed to go forward here, right? It's almost like somebody's not going ahead with some kind of plans anymore. Or somebody is refusing to continue something. Because, like I said, there was a message of concern here. Somebody here found something out, some kind of information, or they, you know, I don't see the Seven of Swords out here, which talks about lies, deception. But what I do see here is the magician. So there could have been some kind of manipulation here. Somebody overdoing, I guess, their control or their power here. The Eight of Swords, the Ten of Wands, with the Five of Cups. Now, if this was some kind of manipulation to keep someone stuck here, I don't know if that's going to work. It almost feels like something is too difficult to do. Because the Five of Cups talks about somebody crying over spilt milk here. The Star card and the Knight of Cups with the Nine of Coins. Someone here may be going in a different direction, offering someone else something here. Maybe an Aquarius with this Star card. Hmm. Okay. So I can see why emotions are running high. All right, Spirit. What is the codependency? Now, that's very funny because I was just going to say that with this wealthy man. Somebody could be... <laughs> Now that I looked at it, it could be codependent on someone's um, financial status with this wealthy man, right? Maybe that's what the big five of wands energy is about, you know? Maybe somebody's moving away from a family situation. And somebody's giving them a fight for it. Especially if there are children involved. So what is a codependency? Addictions are affecting your romantic life. Okay, king of coins. He's been making a little bit of entrance lately, this king of coins. 
And then we have the five of coins. What did I just say? Someone here may be worried about their financial status if someone else moves on. Now, the king of coins is usually someone who is financially stable. So Virgos, this definitely, even if male or female, right? This definitely could be your energy where you are leaving someone behind and they're not too happy here. Five of coins is also an energy of feeling left out in the cold here. And then, like I said, if I put that coin with the five, it brings a six of coins, right? Which usually talks about equal give and take. It feels like somebody here is taking back their coin because they feel like something wasn't fair or isn't fair. What is this king of coins? The seven of coins. It, it, it kind of feels like <laughs> it kind of feels like someone is leaving one situation. It wasn't fair. It wasn't balanced, right? It wasn't an equal give and take. Like I said, there could have been some deception here. There could have been some lies here with the high priest, things that were hidden. Or someone here has gotten some kind of information because this is the page of coins. Someone could have paid um, a tarot reader or something like that to find out some kind of information here. And it may have caused some kind of conflict, right? The five of wands. But wherever this energy king of coins is going, now with the seven, that would make the eight of pentacles. So this could even be like about a business deal, right? Take it how it resonates. Somebody that you work with here. Or this could say in that this other energy is now wherever they are going, they're going to put the hard work in. What is the five of coins? The Empress telling you there may be someone may be leaving the mother of their child or somebody with children here. The Empress energy, someone is worried about their financial status when this situation ends. Why? Because they're codependent on it. Now, that would be this really weird I mean, not weird, but. For the empress to be codependent, but like I said, it couldn't doesn't necessarily have to be representing a divine feminine. It could just be representing at this time a mother figure. What is the empress? Let's clarify it. Now, this king of coins could be going towards an empress energy because we do have the ace of wands at the bottom of the deck. What is this empress energy? Show me. Because I'm not even going to lie to you, even in this picture, it kind of reminded me of the Empress, but it's giving me this energy of somebody who just likes to, I don't want to say just sits on their, you know, booty and do nothing and expects to be catered for, but it kind of does feel like that energy. It feels a little bit spoiled, but not in the right way. What is this Empress energy? I don't know. I see the death card at the bottom of the deck. So it could be a Scorpio. Oh, as I said that. <laughs> you have the Seven of Swords. I told you I didn't get necessarily a good vibe from this Empress energy. Seven of Swords, lying, cheating, deceiving energy. You have the Knight of Pentacles. Look at that. It's almost like I don't want the finances to go anywhere, right? We know that the Knight of Pentacles doesn't move because it's a solid, stable offer. But then we have the Three of Swords, which talks about heartache, heartbreak. This is someone who is going to, um, this Empress energy feels like somebody who did or is was doing or is doing something underhanded, but for the sake of finances. I don't want somebody going anywhere else to invest in anyone else. But... I don't know, guys, if this is a third party situation and your person is the earth sign. 
wild card, the knight of wands, the three of wands with the ten of cups. This person may be moving away. So for some of you, I don't know, you know your situation. This person may be coming towards you. And it looks like because somebody here has seen the bigger picture, the three of wands, ten of cups. That is the ultimate happiness. That's emotional fulfillment. You know, sometimes people don't realize that there is so much more to life than material things. You can gain it all today, but what if you, you know, God forbid, dropped out tomorrow? What are you going to do with those material things? You cannot base your whole life around things, around money. What about love? What about emotional fulfillment? What about mental stability? What is this thoughts? Well, my Virgo's dealing with another earth sign, a Virgo, Taurus or a Capricorn, the Knight of Swords with the Two of Wands. Two of Wands is about making a decision, the Knight of Swords. It could be someone here maybe deciding to reach out and communicate with you. Ooh, as I said that, as I said that. Spirit said, hey, take this one. The Emperor, hello. But we can't have the Emperor with the Nine of Swords. You know, you can't be in one energy today and like I'm boss and I'm going to do this and, uh, you know, I'm going to take back control of my life and then I'm going to put things in order. And then then you, you kind of flip to the nine of swords where you're like, uh, oh, no. Yes, right behind that, the strength card. You got to be in the emperor. You got to have courage. You got to be courageous. You gotta have confidence. That's what makes you an emperor. Or empress. Now we have both of them out here. <laughs> so this could even be somebody leaving a marriage or something like that, right? So what is the emperor here? Why is he here? If they chuck another card at me, a five of cups. Crying over spilt milk. Well, emotions are running high here. It could have something to do with the full moon. Show me more. And it almost, you know what it is for some of you, this person, right? They're in this five of cups energy because they know that if they had chose you or if they had, um, you know, went down that path or whatever, that direction with you. They would have been success. Now, for some of you, this person could be seeing you have some kind of success, right? Six of Wands. Public recognition. But look at this woman, regardless of the Six of Wands. Look at her face. Look at her posture. This person knows they have to come in the Emperor energy to mess with this kind of energy. What is the emperor? Thank you, Spirit. Wow. <laughs> Four ones. This person is thinking, hmm. For some of you, this person may be thinking, <laughs> okay i don't know for some of you i'm hearing i'm hearing um i think i want to marry her now this could be a twin flame for some of you or this person could just see stability with you i did a reading a private reading for someone the other day and all throughout their reading all i could hear was you are mine and i am yours Do those two people look like they even see anybody else? Even though there's no one else in the card. But there's two doves there, right? And you know what else it kind of points out to me here for some of you? Even though behind them, it looks like a little bit far away. It kind of looks like it's all brown. Whereas what they're actually standing on is green. And it does make me think of two earth signs. 
So you and this person could be very similar in some way. What is the Five of Cups? I see two sixes. I think the five of cups with that six of coins there and the six of swords is that energy of, I don't know, like I said, for some of you, it may be an energy of this person regrets giving to somebody else here or, and even in this deck, the six of coins, if you look at it, right, it's almost like, um, one person has all the finances and, and things, right? And they can bring balance to people's life um, when it comes to financial situations. But it, it's the hands for me. Where's it gone? Yeah. It's the hands for me. It's almost like you got hands out just begging. Me, 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 me. What is the five of cups? Wow, look at the Five of Cups. Talk about regrets. The Eight of Swords. The Nine of Pentacles. <laughs> the Ten of Wands. Oh, okay. The Star. And the Knight of Cups. You can't stop me. <laughs> you can try. Right? Is for Virgo, for some of you, what your whoever this other person is saying, right? Now, this is for some of Virgos. Like I said, this is a general reading. This could have been... Um, I don't know. It just feels like someone was trying to stop somebody from coming towards you. Or somebody here was trying to, I don't know, keep someone stuck with this Eight of Swords, right? That's a mental imprisonment that's like... With her eyes kind of blindfolded in her hands and... It kind of feels like an illusion. It could even be confusion, right? Because the swords does talk about your mental. It talks about communication. But the ten of wands, something is too difficult. The nine of pentacles, somebody here is independent, self-sufficient. Bad or by themselves. And I'm telling you, I feel like there's someone here who feels like, hey, I have your last coin. Star card. And the Knight of Cups. Okay. So let's get the advice and let's close this out. I want to get one from Archangel Michael. And then one from, where are you? Oh. All right. Archangel Michael, give me a message for my Virgos dealing with another earth sign. Thank you, Spirit. advice thank you right i've had that one before oh look at that at the bottom of the deck be honest with yourself give me one more on Kendra michael this is the advice that virgo needs to hear at this time thank you look at that someone tries to stop you the way forward is open. It says you're not trapped. Possibilities and opportunities abound. I will guide you to the personal and spiritual. I will guide you to personal and spiritual freedom. Try all they like. Huh? So you have step into the spotlight. It says you have a message that the world needs to hear. It's time to share your wisdom. 
And then you have change is coming, which is a number seven. It says, I am here to guide you through this exciting transformation. This is a time of joyous opportunities. In fact, I'm going to get all the advice from Archangel Michael. Sorry, love and light. We'll use you <laughs> in another reading. <laughs> Give me one more, Archangel Michael. Wrap it up for me. Thank you. I said wrap it up for me. And we have, I think we had this yesterday. It said, trust, trust the guidance you're receiving. It says, Archangel Ariel has blessed you with a brilliant epiphany. I am also present to clear away your worries so that you can trust your divine guidance. So, for some of you, whoever this is, if this is like a relationship, I feel like this person has been trying to come towards you. But with the delays and the distractions. Spirit says for some of you it was just a temporary pause. And I believe that it was a temporary pause that was needed. So Virgos, that is what I have for you. If you are dealing with another earth sign. Guys, don't forget to hit that thumbs up for me. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell so you know when I upload. But if this is where we part, Virgos, stay safe. Love and light, guys.